The Cincinnati Cyclones. Let's get right to business here. They're looking to finish out the season strong. And if you have never, if you've never been to a shame. game. Shame on you. First of all, shame. Uh, but still time this season to get out there and change that. Yeah, I say that just because they're so much fun. They are a blast. And this morning we are joined by Cyclones head coach. We have Jason Payne and head of Cyclones Broadcasting, Dana Gray with us. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks for coming in. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having us. And, you know, we talk about the dedicated fan base that is mm. the Cincinnati Cyclones fan base. And I, I don't honestly know how it is in other markets as you guys travel around to different teams but I can't imagine that there are fans any better than the fans you've got here in Cincinnati what what is what is this fan base like for you guys to experience that night in night out down the Heritage Bank um, I've been here since uh, 2018 and uh, the fans here are unbelievable yeah uh, you know they support our team through thick and thin this year has been one of those years has been really up and down and they've been out there in in gorgeous cheering us on you know pr helping us you know, bring the energy in the building that, that they've we've been lacking, and on some late nights or the nights that we're coming back from the road and things seem down, we get home and we get to see the fans cheering for us. It's you know, it brings our spirits up and it helps us uh, manage through a, a long, long season. It's a big haul, yeah. Well, yeah. and Dana, can you talk about the season and the, the fan experience? If people you know have not been down i re most recently was there when you guys did the the teddy bear toss night and if you have never been to that night in particular that is something to watch i mean the whole place was i think it was sold out it was like at capacity it looked like and to watch these big guys they all have their cyclones jerseys on they're carrying not just one they have like 17 teddy bears that they're coming in with like your fans i'm talking about and yeah. everybody throws them on the ice um, for a good cause but Talk about the, the experience of coming down and what fans can experience. Yeah, I think it's one of the things that we pride ourselves with the Cyclones is that, yes, obviously, you get to come see a pro hockey game, but every single day, you're going to have something different. There's some different promotion. There's a giveaway for the fans. And as Coach Payne was saying, that oh, the environment the is, is unmatched. We'll have visiting teams come in, and you know they're asking around, oh, wow, we've got... 10,000, 12,000 people in the building tonight. Yeah. They're not used to it at this level to come into these loud barns really? and to get to experience you know, this sort of fan base. So it, it's pretty great and we still got a lot of great promotions coming up and it, it makes things pretty fun throughout the whole season. And quickly, Bob, before you get to your next question, yeah. I think the night that I went to, yeah. there was like you guys either debuted or somebody just came out dressed like mustard. Was it mustard? Yeah, we had we had a little bit of a corn dog. A corn dog. It was the corn the dog. Corn do it was an incident. I mean, corn dog was the hit of the night. <laughs> yeah, we're still riding that wave. You yeah. can buy it. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. The corn dog. I'm the pretty sure you can buy it. corn dog yes. merch sure. online. So we're you sure. can still buy it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's I mean, still out there. Well, <laughs> corn dog was hot that night. We're gonna get to what happens on the ice besides the teddy bears here in just a second. But since you guys are both holding things right now, tell yeah. me about what's going on on Saturday. Good. Yeah, Saturday we're playing the Kalamazoo Wings, but we've also teamed up with graders so about friday at midnight jason payne won't be head coach of the cincinnati cyclones he'll be <laughs> head coach of the cincinnati scoops that right cool. here beautiful these are the jerseys that the cyclones will be wearing that we've teamed up with graders of course the very famous yeah. black raspberry chip and I have it. we got a giveaway too for the first three thousand fans are getting a uh, the graders and cyclones. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. You're a big ice cream yeah, guy, right? Oh, I do. I you do love my I do love my Buckeye Blitz. Yeah. Oh, Buckeye Blitz is strong. So, that's yes, a, that's yes. a strong choice. Um, let's talk about what's happening on the ice. So we got Toledo coming up, um, but just generally, we were talking about during the commercial break. Right now, there is this log jam in the middle of the standings that you guys are right there, sort of still in the hunt for thing with 12 regular season games left. How are you guys going to finish strong? How are you getting ready for tonight, too? Just a lot of preparation. It's a, it's a grind, definitely. There's a, it's been a cr kind of a year where we've had a lot of injuries and that to deal with the, a lot of our key players uh, getting hurt and then uh, obviously being out for the re remainder of the season. So a lot of guys had to pick up the slack. So just dialing into our, our details and getting our guys out there in focus and knowing that every point is crucial right now. We need to get out there and we need to lay it out on the line, empty the gas tank, like they say, and every point is crucial. We need to chip away, chip away right down the stretch and uh, claw our way into the playoffs. Yeah. And you still have, you were telling us, 12 more games to go and you have a pretty long season we were also talking about you start in October and you're continuing you know into April does that take a toll on the team it, itself 
It takes a toll on everybody, to yeah. be honest with you. I mean, 72 games you think we play, uh, half on the road, half at home. You're traveling a lot. Uh, one trip we went from Greenville. <laughs> we played one game in Greenville, and then we bust all the way past Cincinnati to play Toledo, to then bust back to Cincinnati to play Toledo, to then leave the next day and or oh. leave that night after the game and bust to Kalamazoo yeah. to play. So Goodness. four games in five nights sometimes is, and the travel. So it does take its toll on, on your body and your mind and your mental. But, you know, we have, we have a good group of guys, and uh, they're strong and they're resilient and that's the way the league is you know yeah. they want to be professionals and the harder they work at it maybe they can start flying when they get to the NHL well and that just proves you've got you got dudes who want to be out on that ice who obviously love to play uh, and since we have some hockey guys here right now we've got to ask you do you hear the the NHL's coming to town talk does that even sort of penetrate what you guys are doing do you think about it or are you too busy with other things for that to have much of an impact you know when the, when that talk kind of was really hot and heavy i guess i don't know about a month ago something like that yeah there there was the quote from the NHL commissioner yeah. Gary Bettman and of course when Whenever the top boss says anything or throws out any city name, that, of course, is going to drum up a little excitement. But I think more so what I see it as is Cincinnati is very much a hockey town. Yeah. Yeah, the Cyclones prove that week in, week out. You see what the Columbus Blue Jackets are able to do. Really excited for that, that outdoor game that they've got coming up next year against the Red Wings. So I think that there's a question or, or idea of whether or not it would be a success that can be put to bed because, you know, Ohio folks and yeah. Cincinnatians have proved that you guys are proving this is that. a hockey yeah. town. Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely a hockey town. I mean, I think the Cyclones over the years have proven themselves to be a team that's that's been out there to compete. And again, in, in the society, in the community itself, they've been they've been one of the main staples of, I guess, hockey and I guess the four letter league compared to the three letter leagues. But is, it's able to sustain hockey and the fan base that it is that that makes it enticing to the NHL. Yeah. Uh, before we let you go, uh, when does puck drop tonight? All that kind of good stuff and getting tickets and everything like that. 7.30 puck drop, cycloneshockey.com, still tickets available. And for all weekend long, you can come out to the Scoops game Saturday night. Uh, we've awesome. got a lot of stuff going on. Love it. Yeah. All right. Gentlemen, thanks for coming yeah. and making time this morning. Thanks we so appreciate, much. It. appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having us. Thank thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.